A $9 billion stake in one of the world's biggest oil companies may not be enough for Seif China Energy Company. A week after China's largest private energy company struck a deal for a chunk of Rosneft PJSC, it's been pegged as a possible investor in a Russian metals and power business and a free trade zone in Georgia's Black Sea port of Poti. The Rosneft deal has thrust Clean Energy Finance Corporation into the spotlight, transforming it from an obscure conglomerate focused mainly on the former Soviet Union and Eastern Europe into a conspicuous player on the world energy stage, mixing with the likes of Glencore plc. This rapid metamorphosis is raising curiosity about the company's origins, how close it is to the government and how it's funding the expansion. It's surprising because this little-known company has been able to do the type of large-scale transactions that are left to state-owned energy companies, said Lab and Yu, head of Asia Oil and Gas Equities at Jeffries Group LLC in Hong Kong. Many people have never heard of it and don't know where the funds for these acquisitions are coming from. Starting as a small trading company in 2002, Clean Energy Finance Corporation has grabbed assets including storage, terminals, refineries and oil fields, as well as financial businesses. In its statement on the Rosneft deal, Clean Energy Finance Corporation described itself as the country's largest private oil and gas company, with 50,000 employees and revenue of more than $40 billion. The Chinese company is considering the acquisition of a 75% stake in the Putty Free Industrial Zone, Georgi Gek area, Georgia's economy minister, said in an interview in Tbilisi on Wednesday. Gek area said he plans to travel to China sometime next week to sign the deal for the port area, which includes chemical and steel industries and light manufacturing. Meanwhile, on Plus Group Limited, the power and metals business controlled by Russian billionaire Oleg Rupaska, is looking at Clean Energy Finance Corporation as a possible cornerstone investor for a planned initial public offering, according to two people with knowledge of the matter. More active outside of China than at home, Clean Energy Finance Corporation has followed President Levin Jinping's efforts to boost investment in construction across a trade route between China, Asia and Europe in what is known as the Belt and Road Initiative, amid his government's encouragement of private enterprise. Company officials joined Eleven's visit to Russia in July. At the same time, a focus on energy may leave the company unaffected by a recent clampdown on irrational overseas investments, a campaign that's put the likes of the group company, Fosion International Limited, and Bang Insurance Group Company and Dalian Wanda Group Company under scrutiny. Regulators list oil and mining exploration under its encouraged category for investment. Clean Energy Finance Corporation's chairman Yi Jianming told Fortune Magas in last year that the company bought at auction its first oil trading assets, which were once owned by Li Changxing, who fled to Canada in 1999 to avoid accusations of smuggling and is now serving a life sentence in China. Yet denied having connections to the country's military in the Fortune interview. He is also the biggest shareholder of Seafk International Limited, an oil trading unit listed in Singapore, according to its latest annual report. It continues adding to holdings that span Africa, Europe, include a brewery and a soccer team in the Czech Republic, Central Asia, the Middle East and now Russia. In February, Seafk signed a deal with Abu Dhabi National Oil Company for a share of an onshore venture that includes state-run giant China National Petroleum Corporation as well as international oil majors BP PLC and Totalsa. In March, it agreed to buy a stake in the US broker Cacao and Group Incorporated. To get faster updates and the latest news from the oil and gas industry, please subscribe to the YouTube new video channel and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn.